English speaking course. Description. In today's video, we'll have lots of real life English conversations for you. By watching, you can learn how people talk in everyday situations, have fun, and get ready to improve your English. There's nobody out there. Mark, did you hear that? It sounded like footsteps. I did, Sarah, but it's probably just the wind or a stray animal. I hope you're right, Mark. This place gives me the creeps, especially with the power out. What was that? It sounded like a bang against the window. I don't know, but it's getting really spooky in here. Maybe we should check outside. There's nobody out there, right? I'm not sure, Mark. It's so dark, and I'm scared. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll go take a look, and you stay here where it's safe. Thank you, Mark. Just please be careful. Mark, is there anyone out there? There's nobody out there, Sarah. It must have been the branches hitting the window in the wind. Oh, thank goodness. I was so scared. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll stay with you. Everything's going to be fine. I'm taking a break from work. Mike, I can't take it anymore. I'm drowning in work. I know the feeling, Lisa. It's been a hectic week. I just need a break, Mike. My brain feels like it's about to explode. You should take one, Lisa. You've earned it. I'll cover you. Hey, Emily, mind if I join you for a break? Of course not, Lisa. Grab a seat. What's been bothering you? Thanks, Emily. Work has been piling up and I needed a breather. Do you want to talk about it? Sometimes sharing helps. Well, Mike offered to cover for me, so I'm taking a break from work. That's a good idea, Lisa. You can't pour from an empty cup, right? You're absolutely right, Emily. I just needed someone to remind me. So, how's your day been so far, Emily? Not too bad, Lisa. Let's enjoy this break and recharge for the rest of the day. My arm hurts. Oh, my arm hurts. Sarah, are you okay? What happened? I don't know, John. It just started hurting out of nowhere. Let me take a look. Maybe you pulled a muscle or something. I think you might have strained a muscle, Sarah. We should ice it and rest it for a while. Thanks, John. You're always so caring. Here you go, Sarah. Ice this for about 20 minutes. It should help reduce the pain. I really appreciate your help, John. No problem, Sarah. We're here to take care of each other. Thanks again, John. You're the best. I think Tom's name is not on the list. Hey, Mark. Did you hear about the party on Friday? Yeah, Lisa, I can't wait. It's going to be epic. But... Mark, I think Tom's name is not on the list. What? Tom's name should be on the list. He's friends with everyone. I overheard Jessica saying that there's some drama with the invitations. Drama? What happened? Why wouldn't they invite Tom? I'm not sure, but it seems like something went wrong with the guest list. We should talk to Tom and find out what's going on. He deserves to be at the party. Don't worry, Lisa. We'll make sure Tom is on the list and that he has a great time at the party. It's very big of you to admit you're wrong. Mike, you need to admit you were wrong. I can't believe you're still on about this. Sarah, I'm not wrong. Mike, it's obvious you messed up. 
and you won't even apologize. I won't apologize for something I didn't do wrong. Mike, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about resolving this issue and moving forward. You know, it's very big of you to admit you're wrong when you are. Huh? Well, I... It's not a sign of weakness, Mike. It's a sign of maturity and strength. Maybe I overreacted a bit? I'm sorry for not listening earlier, Sarah. You were right. Thank you for understanding, Mike. Let's move past this and make up. I have to find it. Lisa, you won't believe what happened today. Oh, Sarah, what's wrong? I lost my grandmother's bracelet. The one she gave me on my birthday. Oh, Sarah, I know how much that bracelet means to you. Don't worry, we'll find it. Where did you see it last? I remember the day my grandmother gave me this bracelet. She told me it had been in our family for generations. She said, this bracelet is a symbol of our love and strength. I can't lose it, Lisa. I have to find it. We'll retrace your steps and look everywhere. It'll turn up. Remember, your grandmother's love is always with you, no matter what. Thank you, Lisa. You're such a good friend. We'll find that bracelet, Sarah. You'll see. That's right. Emma, guess what? We're going on a surprise trip this weekend. Really, Mom? That's awesome. Where are we going? It's a secret for now, but you'll find out soon enough. Mom, can't you give me a hint, please? All right, here's a clue. It's a place with lots of roller coasters and cotton candy. Really? Is it an amusement park? That's right. Yay! I love roller coasters. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, sweetheart. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. We won the lottery! John, guess what? I have big news. Oh, really? What's the news, Sarah? We won the lottery! What? Are you serious? Yes, John, I'm serious. Look at this ticket. Whoa, this is incredible. How much did we win? One million dollars. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. This changes everything. John, let's celebrate. That sounds amazing, Sarah. Let's enjoy this special day. He has the ability to carry out big plans. Mark, you won't believe it. Alex has the ability to carry out big plans. Really, Emily? Tell me more. Well, last week, our team was given a huge project, and everyone was worried, but Alex stepped up. That's impressive. What did Alex do? Alex developed a detailed plan, assigned tasks, and motivated the team. It was like watching a leader in action. Sounds like Alex has great leadership skills. Absolutely. And you know what? We've not only completed the project on time, but also exceeded expectation. Emily, that's fantastic news. It's clear that Alex has the ability to carry out big plans effectively. Yes, Mark, and I'm proud to have such a talented colleague like Alex on our team. Time is money. John, I can't keep up with all these tasks. We're falling behind. I know, Sarah. Time is money and we're running out of it. 
we need to find a way to be more efficient. Our clients won't wait forever. You're right, Sarah. We can't afford to lose any more time. But where do we start? It feels like we're drowning in work. Let's prioritize our tasks and delegate some to the team. We need to work smarter, not harder. That sounds like a plan, John. Let's make the most of our time and get back on track. Time is money, but with a well-organized approach, we can turn things around. I believe in us, John. We'll show everyone that we can meet deadlines and deliver quality work. Please don't touch that. This sculpture is my latest creation, a labor of love. Dad, look at this. It's awesome. Can I touch it? I'm glad you like it, Timmy, but please don't touch that. It's very fragile. Remember what Mom said. Be careful around art. Okay, Dad, I won't touch it, but it looks so beautiful. Thank you for understanding, Timmy. This piece is very special to me. It's a masterpiece, Sarah. The details are incredible. Thank you, John. I poured my heart into it. Timmy, let's explore more of the art gallery. And remember, please don't touch the artwork. Okay, Dad. Let's go see more cool stuff. He is my father. Sarah, I want to show you something special. These are my family photo albums. That sounds lovely, Lisa. I'd love to see them. Well, I must say, our family has had some memorable moments. This one here, it's from our trip to the Grand Canyon. Wow, that's breathtaking. And here's a picture of my parents. She is my mother, and he is my father. Lisa, your father looks so kind. He was, Sarah. He passed away a few years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that, Lisa. Thank you, Sarah. Cherish every moment with your loved ones. That's true. Life can be unpredictable. I'm grateful for the time we had together. He was wearing a green fur coat. Mark, you won't believe who I just saw. Who was it? It was John, our old neighbor from the apartment building. Really? I haven't seen him in years. Yes, and you won't believe what he was wearing. What was it? He was wearing a green fur coat. You're kidding, right? A green fur coat in this weather? I wish I were, but I'm not. He looked like a character from a movie. That's really strange. I know, right? I wonder why he would wear something like that. Well, maybe he's trying to make a fashion statement. Who knows? Fashion can be unpredictable sometimes. Well, if you see him again, find out the story behind the green fur coat. I will, Mark. It's a mystery I'd like to solve. You had me worried for a moment. Kate, what's wrong? You look really upset. Oh, John, you won't believe the day I've had. Everything that could go wrong did. It's okay, Kate. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Well, first I missed the bus to work, then my computer crashed, and to top it all off, I spilled coffee all over my important documents. That sounds like a really tough day. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. I was just so stressed, John. I thought I'd lose my job for sure. Hey, hey, it's all right. You had me worried for a moment, but your job is safe. Really? You mean it? 
Yes, Kate, we all have bad days, and your boss will understand. Thank you, John. You're such a good friend. Anytime, Kate. Remember, I'm here for you. I hope you're ready for action. Mark, I hope you're ready for action. This mission is crucial, and we can't afford any mistakes. Don't worry, Sarah. I've been training for this moment my whole life. We'll get through this together. Our gear is in top shape, and our intel is solid. We know what we're up against. We've been trained for the worst-case scenario, Sarah. We're a team, and we watch each other's backs. You're right, Mark. Let's focus on the mission. We can do this. That's the spirit, Sarah. We're a well-oiled machine, and nothing can stop us. The concert was a real disappointment. John, I have to say, the concert was a real disappointment. Really, Lisa? I thought you were excited about it. What went wrong? Well, at first, everything seemed promising. The opening act was fantastic. But then, when the main band came on, the sound quality was terrible. Yeah, I noticed that too. It was hard to enjoy the music when you couldn't hear the lyrics. And on top of that, they played all of the other songs. None of their hits. I know what you mean. It's like they didn't even care about their fans. Yeah, it was such a letdown. I was really looking forward to that concert. I'm sorry you had to go through that, Lisa. Maybe the next concert will be better. I made a smoothie for her. Sarah, guess what? I made a smoothie for her. Oh, that sounds nice. Who is it for, Emma? It's for Jessica. You know how she loves fruit smoothies. Jessica, but didn't you two have an argument yesterday? Yeah, we did. It was a big fight, but I want to make things right. That's thoughtful of you, Emma. But will she accept it? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to try. I don't want our friendship to end like this. That's a great gesture, Emma. I hope this smoothie helps mend things. Thanks, Sarah. I'll go talk to her and give it a try. Watermelon juice is insanely good. Lisa, you have to try this. Watermelon juice is insanely good. Really, John? I've never had it before. You're missing out, Lisa. It's sweet, refreshing, and perfect for a hot day like today. All right, pour me a glass, then. Here you go. Trust me, you'll love it. Mmm, you were right. This is amazing. See, I told you. It's like a burst of summer in your mouth. Thank you for introducing me to this deliciousness, John. You're welcome, Lisa. Let's enjoy our watermelon juice and soak up the sun. He knows it inside out. Mike, have you heard John talking about Moby Dick? Yeah, he knows it inside out. Really? How come? Well, he's a huge fan of Herman Melville, the author, and he's read Moby Dick multiple times. That's impressive. And not just that, he can quote passages from the book and explain its symbolism and themes. Wow. John's knowledge about literature is really extensive. Absolutely. He's like a walking encyclopedia when it comes to classic novels. I can't wait to discuss literature with him.
does it make a big difference? Mark, have you thought about upgrading our internet speed? Yeah, I have. But does it make a big difference? Well, it depends on what we use the internet for. If we stream a lot of videos and play online games, a faster connection can be a game changer. So it can improve our streaming and gaming experience. Absolutely. Faster speeds mean less buffering and lag, which can be really frustrating when we're in the middle of a movie or a game. Hmm, that sounds good, but does it cost much more? That's a bit more expensive, but I think the improved experience is worth it. Plus, we can share it with our neighbors and they can chip in for the cost. That makes sense. Let's go for it then. Great. I'll call the provider and arrange the upgrade. Time is more valuable than money. You know, Mike, they say time is more valuable than money. Yeah, I've heard that too, but why do you think so? Well, think about it. You can always make more money, but once time is gone, you can never get it back. That's true. Time is limited, and we should use it wisely. Exactly. It's not about how much time we have, but how we make the most of it. I've realized that spending time with loved ones and pursuing our passions is more fulfilling than chasing after money all the time. I couldn't agree more, Mike. Time spent on meaningful things is priceless. And moments with friends like this one, chatting in the park, are the best investments of our time. You're absolutely right, Mike. Let's cherish these moments. We go to the gym club together. John, I have a great idea. How about we start going to the gym club together? Oh, really? I didn't know you were interested in working out. Well, I've been feeling like I need to get in shape and stay healthy. Plus, it's more fun when we do it together. You're right. It's easier to stay motivated with a workout buddy. What's your plan? I was thinking we could go three times a week and do a mix of cardio and strength training. That sounds like a good plan. I'll need to get a gym membership, though. Don't worry, John. I can help you sign up, and we can even get a discount for signing up together. That's settled, then. We go to the gym club together, starting this week. I don't think I like the movie. Mike, I don't think I like the movie. Really? I thought it was pretty good. What didn't you like about it? Well, I found the plot a bit confusing, and the acting didn't seem very convincing to me. I see what you mean. Some parts were a bit hard to follow, and I agree, the acting could have been better. You know, sometimes I don't fully appreciate a movie until I've had time to think about it. That's true. Maybe we should give it some time and then discuss it again. Who knows? Our opinions might change upon reflection. I have my hair cut every month. Hey, Alex, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Again? You just got it done last month. Well, I like to keep it looking fresh, you know? Plus, my hair grows fast. You are such a hair enthusiast. Do you have an appointment at the fancy salon again? Of course. They always do an amazing job. I like to treat myself. How often do you go to the salon for a haircut? I have my haircut every month. Keeps it looking sharp and stylish. Well, you do have fantastic hair. Maybe I should consider more frequent haircuts, too.
When I was young, I played the guitar. You know, Sarah, when I was young, I played the guitar. Really? I never knew you were into music. Yeah, it was a big part of my life back then. I even had a band with some friends. What kind of music did you guys play? We mostly played rock and pop songs. It was a lot of fun performing at local events. Did you have a favorite song to play? Absolutely. We love playing Hotel California by the Eagles. That guitar solo was epic. That sounds amazing. I wish I had seen you perform. I have 20 pairs of shoes. Lisa, guess what? I have 20 pairs of shoes. Wow, that's a lot of shoes, Emily. I know, right? I can't resist buying new shoes whenever I see a sale. It's like you have a shoe store in your closet. Sometimes I feel like I'm addicted to shoe shopping. Do you wear all of them, or are some just for display? Well, I wear most of them, but a few are just for show. You should come over sometime and see my shoe collection. I'd love to. What's your favorite pair of shoes? Oh, my favorite has to be those red high heels. They make me feel so confident. You need to calm down. Mom, I just can't stop worrying about Emma. What if something goes wrong in surgery? I understand, dear, but you need to calm down. The doctors are doing their best. I know, but it's just so hard to relax in a situation like this. Try taking deep breaths, Sarah. Inhale, exhale. I wish there was something I could do. All we can do now is wait and hope for the best. Emma is strong. She'll pull through. Just want her to be okay, Mom. She means everything to me. I know, sweetheart. We all do. But getting too worked up won't help. You're right, Mom. I'll try to calm down and hope for the best. That's my girl. We'll get through this together. I can hardly speak. Hey, Mark. How are you feeling today? I can hardly speak, John. This surgery really did a number on my body. It sounds rough. Lisa and I were really worried about you. Thanks. It's been tough, but I hope I'll recover soon. Mark, you'll get through this. Just take it easy and follow the doctor's advice. It's just frustrating not being able to talk properly. I can imagine how tough it is, Mark. But remember, it's temporary. How long until you can speak normally again, Mark? The doctor said it might take me a few weeks, depending on how well I heal. Hang in there, buddy. We're here to support you all the way. His boss might get angry with his tone. Mark, I heard we have a meeting with Mr. Johnson this afternoon about the project. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. But I'm worried that Mr. Johnson might get angry with my tone. You've been doing great work on the project, Mark. Just stay calm and confident. I know, Sarah, but sometimes I can sound a bit blunt without realizing it. Well, Mr. Johnson can be pretty strict about professionalism. Maybe you should rehearse your points before the meeting? That's a good idea, Sarah. I'll make sure I choose my words carefully. Don't stress too much, Mark. Just be yourself and explain our progress clearly. I'll try, 
but I hope Mr. Johnson doesn't find any fault with my tone. You got this, Mark. We're in this together, and we'll handle it as a team. We'll have a long day tomorrow. John, we'll have a long day tomorrow. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by our to-do list. I know, Emily. It seems like we have a million things to do. And to top it off, we have that important meeting with the clients in the morning. Yes, and then we need to rush to complete the project proposal by the afternoon. I'm worried we won't have enough time to prepare for the meeting properly. Don't worry, Emily. We're a great team, and we've handled tough situations before. We can do it. You're right, John. We'll stay focused, work together, and make it through the day successfully. That's the spirit, Emily. We've got this. Let's get a good night's sleep and tackle tomorrow head on. Did you have breakfast yet? Good morning, Josh. Happy Thanksgiving. Did you have breakfast yet? Morning, Emily. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. No, I haven't. How about you? Same here. I can't wait for the turkey, stuffing, and all the goodies. Speaking of, do you know what time we're supposed to head over to Sarah's place for dinner? If I remember correctly, Sarah said around 3 p.m. That way, we can all watch the parade and have some appetizers before dinner. Perfect. I'm bringing the pumpkin pie. What are you bringing? I'm on cranberry sauce duty this year. Homemade, not from the can. I hope it turns out as good as grandma's. I'm sure it'll be great. It's so nice that we all contribute something. It really gives a sense of shared effort and community, don't you think? Absolutely. It's one of the things I love most about Thanksgiving. Did you do anything special? Hey Jake, happy Thanksgiving. Hey Anna, happy Thanksgiving to you too. How's your day been so far? It's been quite eventful. I volunteered at a local soup kitchen in the morning. After that, I helped my mom with some cooking. That's really admirable, Anna. Volunteering on Thanksgiving is such a great way to give back. So did you do anything special besides that? Thanks, Jake. Well, other than that, I've just been setting up for our little Friendsgiving gathering tonight. By the way, are you still coming over after dinner with your family? Absolutely. Oh, and I remember that pie from last year's potluck. It's the best. Bring some along if you can. Will do. It's always a hit. The weather's lovely today, isn't it? The weather's lovely today, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I can't remember the last time we had such a clear sky in the middle of July. I know, right? I'm thinking of going to the beach later. You want to come? That sounds great. I actually planned on having a picnic there. Maybe we can combine the two. A beach picnic? Sounds perfect. What should we bring? I can prepare some sandwiches and fresh juice. Maybe you can bring some snacks? Sure. I'll grab some chips and maybe a fruit salad. Sounds like a plan. It does. Let's meet around 3 p.m. Sounds good to me. See you then. Perfect. Don't forget the sunscreen. Did you watch the football match last night? Hey Mark, I noticed a lot of excitement on social media yesterday. So many people were posting about football. Was there a big game on? 
Oh, absolutely. It was a huge match between Manchester United and Liverpool. Those two have a long-standing rivalry. Right, I've heard about that rivalry. Aren't those matches referred to as Northwest Derbies? You're on the mark. The Northwest Derby is one of the most anticipated football events in the UK. By the way, did you watch the football match last night? I'm a bit tired today. I didn't sleep well. I'm a bit tired today. I didn't sleep well. Oh no, what happened? Was there a lot of noise or something? Not really. I think I had too much caffeine in the evening. I also had a lot on my mind and kept tossing and turning. I've been there. Too much coffee after dinner always does that to me. It just, it wasn't just the coffee. I'm also stressed about the presentation I have to give at work tomorrow. Ah, work stress. You're not alone. Maybe you could try some relaxation techniques before bed tonight? That sounds helpful. Do you have any specific techniques that work for you? Don't worry too much about it. Just remember to take breaks. Relax. And maybe even practice your presentation a few times. That's good advice. I'll rehearse it once more before I go to bed. Hopefully, that'll make me feel more confident. I've started reading a new book. It's quite interesting. Hey, Jack. It's been a while. Getting ready for Thanksgiving? Hi, Anna. Yes, I've been quite busy preparing. I'm hosting this year. By the way, in the midst of all the preparations, I've started reading a new book. It's quite interesting. Really? What's it about? It delves into the history and cultural significance of Thanksgiving. The author presents both the Native American and Pilgrim perspectives, providing a well-rounded view. It's fascinating to think about as we're celebrating. That sounds enlightening. It's essential to understand the true essence of the holidays we celebrate. That's a unique touch. I'd love to read that book once you're done. Maybe it could inspire my next Thanksgiving dinner. Absolutely. I'll lend it to you. What time do we need to leave for the party? Hey, Clara. I'm really looking forward to the party tonight. Did you decide on what you're wearing? I think I'll wear that blue dress I bought last week. How about you? I was thinking of going with my gray suit. It's been a while since I wore it. By the way, what time do we need to leave for the party? Vanessa mentioned that it starts at 8 p.m. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure my suit is ironed and ready by then. I'll pick up a bottle from that store near my place. They have a great selection. Perfect. And while you do that, I'll get a thank you card. Let's meet at my place around 6.30 p.m. so we have some time to wrap things up before heading out. Do you know a good coffee shop around here? Hey, Sarah, do you know a good coffee shop around here? Absolutely. There's this amazing place called Bean Haven just two blocks away. I usually go there to work on my laptop because they have such a cozy environment. Wow, that sounds heavenly. Do they also have any vegan options? My sister, who's vegan, is visiting me next week. And I'm collecting a list of places we can visit. Absolutely. They have a variety of plant-based milk options, and their pastries have a vegan section, too. Their vegan blueberry muffins are a must-try. Great to know. By the way, how's the seating there? I love places that have a bit of an outdoor setting. They've got you covered. Beanhaven has a lovely outdoor patio that overlooks a small garden. It's quite serene. 
It seems like I've been missing out. Thanks for the recommendation, Sarah. I missed the bus this morning and had to take a taxi. Hey, Lisa. Where have you been? Are you all set for Thanksgiving? Oh, Mike, you won't believe what happened. I missed the bus this morning and had to take a taxi. Made me think about all the times I've been running late, even for big occasions like Thanksgiving. Oh, no. That sounds like a rough start to the day. Were you able to get everything you needed for your Thanksgiving feast? Just about. After the taxi ordeal, I headed straight to the grocery store. Got everything but cranberry sauce. Would you believe they ran out? Seriously? That's a Thanksgiving staple. You know, I have an extra can. Do you want me to drop it off later? That would be a lifesaver. Thanks. Thinking of seeing a movie tonight. Want to join? Jack, happy Thanksgiving. Are you celebrating with your family this evening? Thanks, Laura. Yes, we're having a big dinner at my aunt's house. How about you? We're doing a small gathering at my place this year. Just immediate family. After all the food and chit-chat, I'm thinking of seeing a movie tonight. Want to join? That sounds like a great idea. Any particular movie in mind? Not yet. Maybe something lighthearted. After all that heavy food, I think a comedy would be great. I'm on board with that. After last year's drama of the turkey being overcooked, I think we all need a bit of a laugh. My phone's dead. Can I borrow your charger? Hi, Emma. Can I have a moment? Hi, what's up? My phone's dead. Can I borrow your charger? Oh, sure. But didn't you charge it last night? I did, but I was on this long video call with Jake and Lily earlier. They were showing me their new cat, Whiskers. Right. Anyways, here's the charger. Just remember to unplug it when you're done. It's the fast charging one and can be quite powerful. Thanks, Emma. I'll make sure I do. Let's catch up over lunch next week. Hey, Mike. Long time no see. Let's catch up over lunch next week. Hi, Sarah. That sounds great. I've missed our lunch chats. Any particular place in mind? How about that new Italian place downtown? I've heard they have a killer spaghetti carbonara. Oh, La Bella Vita. Okay, so Monday? Monday's perfect. Around noon? Sounds good to me. I've been diving deep into English literature lately. I can't wait to share some new book recommendations with you. That's great. See you Monday. Can't wait, Sarah. Let's take a break. I need some fresh air. Ugh, I've been staring at this screen for hours. Let's take a break. I need some fresh air. I was thinking the same, Emma. A walk in the park nearby sounds good right now. Perfect idea, Alex. Maybe we can grab a coffee on the way? Sounds delightful. And maybe a little pastry? I've got a craving. Always with the sweet tooth, huh? All right, let's do it. And I've been meaning to practice my conversational English outside the classroom. The park will be a great setting. Absolutely. Interacting with locals might give us some real-world practice. Great idea. Let's grab our jackets and head out. I'm planning a trip next month. Any recommendations?
Hey, I'm planning a trip next month. Any recommendations on where I should go? Oh, Mia, that's exciting. Well, have you ever thought about visiting Prague? Prague? Isn't that in the Czech Republic? I've heard it's beautiful, but never really looked into it. Exactly. It's a charming city with rich history. You can see the Prague Castle, walk on Charles Bridge, and enjoy the local cuisine. That's encouraging. What about local food? Any recommendations? Oh, you have to try Trdelny. It's a kind of pastry they serve on the streets. And goulash, served in bread. Delicious. I'm sold. Thanks, Jake. I'll start planning. That's the spirit. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? Oh, Alex, it's quite nice. It's more spacious than my last place and has a fantastic view of the park. That sounds wonderful. Are you settled in yet? Mostly. There are still a few boxes lying around, but I've unpacked the essentials. The living room is my favorite space. Why is that? It gets a lot of natural light, and I've set up a cozy reading nook by the window. It's my little sanctuary. Sounds delightful. I remember you mentioning that you wanted to be closer to work. Is the commute better now? Oh, absolutely. I can walk to work in 15 minutes. No more crowded buses for me. That's a game changer. We should celebrate your move. How about dinner at your place next weekend? Sounds like a plan. Have you met the new neighbors? I've been hearing a lot of moving trucks lately. It seems like there's quite a shuffle happening in our building. Yes, the apartment next to mine just got occupied. Seems like a young couple moved in. Oh, interesting. Have you met the new neighbors? Not officially. Just some brief eye contact in the hallway. But they seem nice. I'm thinking of saying hello soon. You definitely should. It's always good to have a friendly relationship with those living close by. I completely agree. Maybe I'll invite them over for coffee one of these days. Or perhaps a small get-together at my place. That sounds like a plan. I can't wait to meet them. Me too. Here's to new friendships. Let's go for a walk after dinner. Have you tried the new pasta recipe I sent you? It's super easy and delicious. Yes, I did. It was fantastic. Thanks for sharing it. I'm actually making it for dinner tonight. Oh, that sounds great. I find taking a short walk after a hearty meal helps with digestion. That's a good idea. Let's go for a walk after dinner. It'll be nice to stroll around the neighborhood. I'm up for it. There's a new park that opened recently. Maybe we can check it out. Sounds perfect. We can explore the park and maybe find a nice spot to relax and chat. Absolutely. It's been a while since we caught up properly. A walk is just what we need. Plus, the weather's great. Agreed. It's a plan then. I'll drop by your place around 7? Perfect. I'll have dinner ready by then. See you in a bit. I think this shirt is too tight for me. Did you manage to find anything at the sale yesterday? Yeah, I picked up a couple of shirts and a pair of jeans. But I'm having second thoughts about one of them. Oh, what seems to be the problem? Well, I think this shirt is too tight for me. I tried it on at home and it feels different than it did in the store. That happens sometimes. Store lighting and mirrors can be deceptive. 
why not exchange it for a bigger size? I was thinking the same. Do you want to come with me later? Maybe grab a coffee afterwards? Sounds like a plan. Have you finished the report I asked for? Good morning, Alex. How was your weekend? Morning, Samantha. It was great. Thanks. I went hiking with my family. How about yours? It was relaxing. Spent most of it reading a new novel. By the way, have you finished the report I asked for? Oh, yes. I wrapped it up yesterday. It's on your desk. I was waiting for you to come in so I could discuss some points. That's efficient. I'll review it in a bit. And sure, let's discuss any uncertainties you might have. Thanks. I just want to make sure everything aligns with what you're expecting before the presentation tomorrow. I appreciate that. Let's sit down after our morning meeting. I haven't decided what to wear to the party tonight. Hey, Emily, how's your day going? Hi, Hannah. It's been a busy one. How about you? I'm just finishing up preparations for the party tonight. Speaking of which, I haven't decided what to wear to the party tonight. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Want to come over later and maybe we can help each other pick something out. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can even do a mini fashion show. Ha, ah, that sounds like fun. We'll make it an event before the event. Perfect. See you later then, and thanks for always being there. Anytime, Hannah. That's what friends are for. See you in a bit. Can you help me with this? I'm a bit stuck. Hey, Alex, have you tried that new puzzle game everyone's talking about? Yes, I just downloaded it last night. It's more challenging than I thought. Tell me about it. I've been playing it for a week now, and I'm still on level 10. Actually, that's where I'm at right now. Can you help me with this? I'm a bit stuck. Sure thing. Let's see. A few moments later. Oh, you need to move this piece here and then rotate that one. Ah, got it. Thanks, Jamie. These brain teasers can be so tricky sometimes. No problem, Alex. That's what friends are for. If you ever get stuck again, you know where to find me. Definitely. Let's see who can finish the game first. Game on. I'm craving some ice cream. How about you? Did you know they opened a new dessert place downtown, right next to the bookshop? No, I had no idea. It's been a while since I visited that area. What do they have? They serve all sorts of pastries and desserts, from muffins to pies. Their raspberry cheesecake is absolutely divine. That sounds really tempting. I might need to check it out soon. I totally get that. Sometimes... All you need is a sweet treat to brighten up your day. Speaking of sweet treats, I'm actually craving some ice cream right now. How about you? Oh, I'm always in the mood for ice cream. Chocolate chip cookie dough is my weakness. I had a great time at the picnic yesterday. Hey, it's been so long since our last catch-up. How was your weekend? It was really good, thanks for asking. My family and I visited the new botanical garden downtown. It's such a peaceful place. Oh, I've been meaning to visit that place. Heard they have a collection of rare orchids. They do. 
and some fascinating tropical plants. The entire place feels like a serene escape right in the middle of the city. But how about you? What did you do? Well, remember the picnic plan we made with college friends? It finally happened. I had a great time at the picnic yesterday. That's awesome. I saw some photos on social media. Looked like a lot of fun with games and delicious food. I can't believe it's already December. It feels like this year has just flown by, doesn't it? Absolutely. With work and everything happening around, I barely noticed the time passing. I was going through my calendar, wrapping up meetings and plans, and suddenly it hit me. I can't believe it's already December. Right? In a few weeks, we'll be celebrating New Year's. I still remember our last New Year's party like it was yesterday. Me too. It was so much fun. Have you thought about any plans for this year's celebration? Not yet, but considering how fast time's moving, I should probably start planning something soon. Let's do something together. Let's order pizza tonight. I don't feel like cooking. How was your day at work? It was so hectic. Three meetings back to back, a presentation, and then the report to finish. Sounds exhausting. You must be starving. Yes, I am. I didn't even get a proper lunch break. I just grabbed a sandwich from the cafeteria. Oh, no. That's not enough for such a busy day. You're telling me. I'm actually famished. Well, you relax. Let's order pizza tonight. I don't feel like cooking. Pizza sounds perfect right now. Thanks, Emily. How about we try that new barbecue chicken flavor we saw on the ad the other day? Oh, yes, that looked delicious. Did you get a chance to reply to my email? Hey, Sam. How was your weekend? It was really good, Jess. Took a short trip to the mountains. How about yours? I just stayed home and caught up on some reading. By the way, I sent you some book recommendations via email. Did you get a chance to reply to my email? Oh, really? I must have missed it. I haven't checked my inbox since Friday. No worries. Just thought I'd mention it. I'll definitely check it out today. Of course. I came across some really intriguing mystery novels. Thought you might enjoy them. I've been learning to play the guitar. It's harder than I thought. Hey, Alex. You seem a bit tired today. Late night? Yeah, I was up trying something new. Kept me busy till the wee hours. Oh, what were you up to? I've been learning to play the guitar. It's harder than I thought. How's it going? My fingers hurt, and getting the chords right is a challenge. I can imagine, but practice makes perfect. Don't get discouraged. Thanks, Sarah. I'll keep that in mind. Do you play any instruments? I used to play the piano when I was younger. Might pick it up again soon. We could form a band. The Wi-Fi is acting up. Can you check the router? Hey, Emily. Have you noticed any issues with the internet connection today? Not really. Why? Are you facing some problems? Yes. 
I've been trying to send this file for the past 15 minutes. No look. That's odd. Everything seemed fine when I was watching my show earlier. The Wi-Fi is acting up. Can you check the router? Maybe it needs a reboot or something. Sure, I'll take a look. Sometimes unplugging it and plugging it back in does the trick. It's funny how much we rely on Wi-Fi these days. Even a few minutes without it feels like an eternity. I know, right? Oh, looks like there's a loose cable here. Let me fix that. What's your plan for the evening? Hey, Megan. It feels like we haven't caught up in a while. How was your day? Oh, hey, Alex. You're right. It's been a while. My day was good, though a bit hectic with back-to-back -back meetings. How about yours? It was all right. Went pretty smoothly, thankfully. That's good to hear. By the way, what's your plan for the evening? I was thinking of binge-watching this new series I discovered on Netflix. It's got some amazing reviews. You? Sounds fun. I was actually planning on trying out a new recipe I found online. It's a kind of pasta, but with a twist. Oh, wow. Cooking adventures again? Make sure to save me a portion if it turns out good. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I can't believe we've been talking for three hours. Time flies when you're having fun. Seriously, it's always great catching up with you, Rachel. So much has happened since we last met. Absolutely. Your stories from the hiking trip were the best. I still can't believe you saw a bear. Oh, yeah. It was quite an experience. But hey, we should definitely plan a trip together sometime. The mountains are calling. I'd love that. But for now, I need to finish some work assignments due tomorrow. I understand. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks, Jane. You too. And thanks for the laughs tonight. We reached London this afternoon. Guess what, James? We reached London this afternoon. Really? That's great, Bay. How was the journey? Surprisingly smooth. The kids loved the train ride, especially the views. Ah, I can imagine. The English countryside is gorgeous. Where are you staying? We found a cozy Airbnb near Hyde Park, perfect for evening strolls. Sounds lovely. Make sure to visit the British Museum. The kids would love it. Definitely on our list. By the way, any local eateries you'd recommend? Oh, for sure. Taste of London on Baker Street. Best fish and chips in town. Adding to our list. Thanks, honey. We'll catch up soon. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. I've slipped and can't get up. Oh my goodness. Emily, hold on, I'm coming. My leg. I think I might have twisted it. It's okay. Stay calm. I'm here. Let's not move until we're sure it's safe. Thank you, Clara. I was just trying to get that box from the top shelf. We should always ask for help with high shelves. Let me see your leg. It hurts, but I don't think it's broken. I'll call the doctor just to be sure. And next time, promise me you'll ask for assistance. I promise. Thank you for being here, dear.
It was a tough time. Liam, you never told me about your time abroad during college. Oh, Ava, that year it was a tough time. Really? I always thought studying abroad was an adventure and fun. It usually is, but I had to balance work, studies, and being in a completely unfamiliar place. That does sound challenging. How did you manage? With a lot of support from friends, both back home and the few I made there. Also, lots of video calls with family. It's impressive how you pushed through. Must have learned a lot from it. Oh, definitely. It made me appreciate home, understand different cultures, and learn resilience. And look at you now, flourishing and sharing those experiences with others. Thanks, Ava. It was a journey of growth for sure. I'm on a diet. Hey, Jake. Do you want to grab a pizza after work today? Oh, I'd love to, Mia, but I'm on a diet. I'm trying to eat healthier. Oh, that's great. What kind of diet are you following? It's mostly plant-based with lots of vegetables, fruits, and lean protein. Sounds nutritious. How about we go to Green Bites? They have amazing salads and smoothies. That sounds perfect. I've been wanting to try that place. Awesome. We'll make it a healthy outing then. Supporting each other's goals. Thanks for understanding, Mia. It's always easier with supportive friends. Always here for you, buddy. See you after work. Looking forward to it. Can you come over now? Hey, Sarah. Everything okay? Alex, I'm so overwhelmed with this project. Can you come over now? Of course, Sarah. Give me about 20 minutes. I'll be there. Thanks, Alex. I just need some help sorting through these documents. It's a mess. No worries. We'll tackle it together. Just breathe, okay? I'm on my way. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. See you soon. Always here to help. Hang tight. All right. Keys, wallet. Let's go help Sarah out. You have a beautiful home. Thank you for inviting me over, Helen. This place looks so cozy. Thanks, Mina. It took a lot of hard work, but I'm really proud of it. You have a beautiful home. The way you've decorated it's so chic. That's so kind of you to say. I tried to give it a personal touch. The paintings? Are they from your trips? Yes. That one's from Spain and the other from Morocco. It's amazing how each piece tells a story. Exactly. For me, it's not just decor, but memories of places and people. Well, you've done an exceptional job. It feels like a warm, worldly haven. It means a lot to hear that. The choice was mine. Lucia, why did you decide to go with that project? Everyone else was against it. I know it wasn't the popular choice, Michael, but I believed in its potential. But weren't you concerned about the risks? Of course I was. But sometimes we need to take risks to achieve great rewards. You could have gone with the safer option, though. The choice was mine, and I wanted to make a decision that I thought was best, not just safe. I respect your decision. I just hope it pays off. Thanks for understanding, Michael. I'll give it my all to ensure it succeeds. That's the spirit. Just know we're with you, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot to me.
I will get sick from that. Want to try this street food? It looks delicious. Oh, it does look tempting. But I'm a bit wary of street food. Why? I've eaten here a few times, and it's always been great. It's just that my stomach is super sensitive. I'm afraid I will get sick from that. Oh, I get it. We wouldn't want that. How about we go to that cafe you like? Sounds perfect. I appreciate you being understanding. Of course. It's all about enjoying and not regretting later, right? Exactly. Thanks, Brian. Let's head to the cafe. We need to talk. Hey, Emily. Can we sit down for a moment? Sure. What's up? We need to talk. I've been thinking about some things. All right. You sound serious. Is everything okay? Well, it's about our plans to move next month. I got a job offer in another city. Oh, that's unexpected. What does that mean for us? I wanted to discuss it with you. It's a great opportunity, but I value our relationship. I appreciate that, Tom. Let's talk it through and figure out the best for both of us. Thank you for understanding. Whatever decision we make, we'll face it together. Absolutely. We always find a way. I am afraid I have to go. I'm so glad we could catch up, Sarah. It's been way too long. I know, Mark. Remembering our college days always brings a smile to my face. Those were the days. By the way, have you heard from Jake recently? Yes, he just had a baby. Can you believe it? Wow, time really flies. I would love to hear more. I'm afraid I have to go. My train's in 20 minutes. But let's meet up soon and continue where we left off. Of course. Safe travels, and let's make sure it's not another year before we catch up. Deal. Take care, Mark. That's the problem. Hey, Mia. Have you tried restarting your computer? It usually fixes the glitch. Yeah, I did, multiple times. But it still won't boot up properly. Hmm, maybe it's a software issue. Did you update it recently? That's the problem. I did an update, and after that, it just won't start. Uh, I see. Well, don't worry. We can try rolling back the update. Really? Can you help me with that? Of course. Let's see if we can get your computer running smoothly again. Thanks, Ethan. I really appreciate it. That's all. Lucas, did you manage to pick up everything from the grocery list? We have guests coming over tonight. I got the milk, eggs, bread, and fresh vegetables. Oh, and also that cereal you like. Right. Did you remember to get the orange juice and the laundry detergent? Ah, I knew I forgot something. I missed those. Really sorry, Anna. No worries. We can always run back to the store later. Did you grab the dessert I mentioned? The chocolate cake from Baker Street? Yes, I did. It looked delicious, so I couldn't possibly forget that. Good to hear. Anything else you picked up which wasn't on the list? I got some extra fruits, apples and bananas, and some snacks, just in case we run out. But other than that, that's all. All right. I hope we have everything. We can't have our guests waiting. 
Let's start preparing. Oh, and thank you for managing the groceries. Always happy to help. Let's get cooking. Please don't touch that. Hey, Zoe, welcome to my studio. Feel free to look around, but be careful. There are some fragile pieces. Wow, Rachel, this place looks incredible. I love the colors on this painting over there. Thanks, that's one of my recent works. Took a lot of patience. And what's this shiny object? It looks fascinating. Please don't touch that, it's still wet. I just finished working on it this morning. Whoops, sorry about that. I got carried away. It's just so captivating. No harm done. I'm glad you're interested. That's a special resin art piece I've been experimenting with. Stunning. I'll make sure to only use my eyes and not my hands from now on. Thanks for understanding. Let me know if you'd like a tour of everything. I can explain each piece to you. I'd love that. Lead the way. I take 10 minutes to get there. Hey, Sam. Want to grab some lunch together at that new cafe down the road? Yeah, I've been meaning to try that place. How long does it take for you to get there from your office? I take 10 minutes to get there. It's pretty close by. How about you? It might take me about 15 minutes. I'll have to cross the park. All right, then. How about we meet up there in, say, 20 minutes? Sounds good to me. See you there. See you. And hey, first coffee is on me. Now you're talking. Can't wait. May I have some water? What a beautiful garden, Clara. I can't believe you've done all of this yourself. Thank you, Mark. Yes, it's been a labor of love. See those roses over there? They took me months to cultivate. They are gorgeous. I've been out here for a while admiring everything. And with this heat, I'm feeling parched. May I have some water? Absolutely. Let me grab you a cold bottle from the fridge inside. We can also sit in the patio area. There's shade and a nice breeze. Sounds wonderful, Clara. The store is having a sale. Jane, have you seen this flyer? The store downtown is having a sale. Really? Which store? I've been wanting to buy some summer clothes. It's Fashion Street. They're offering up to 50% off on some items. Oh, that's fantastic. I bought a dress from there last month, and the quality was superb. With a sale, I can get two. I was thinking the same. Plus, I've had my eyes on a pair of sandals they displayed in their window last week. Sounds like a shopping day for us, then. But we should go early. Sales like these attract huge crowds. Agreed. Let's meet up tomorrow at 10 a.m.? That way, we can grab the best pieces before they're sold out. Perfect. I'll do it right away. Ben, did you remember to send that email to our client? They need those files before the end of the day. Oops, I got caught up with the other project. I haven't sent it yet. Oh no, Ben, they might delay the contract if they don't get those documents today. We worked so hard on this deal. I'm really sorry, Emily. I'll do it right away. Give me just a moment. Thank you. Just make sure you attach the correct files. 
Once you're done, let me know. We'll call them to confirm they've received it. Agreed, and I promise next time, I won't let other tasks distract me from such critical duties. Don't worry, be happy. Sophie, you seem down. What's troubling you? It's just been a rough week, Alex. Work has been so stressful, and I feel overwhelmed. I understand. We all have those days. But you're strong, and you've overcome challenges before. Yes, but sometimes it feels like it's just too much, you know? Definitely. But remember that song from the 80s? Don't worry, be happy. It's catchy and always helps me find a silver lining. I remember that tune. It's so cheerful. Thanks for reminding me. Music does have a way of changing one's mood. Exactly. So whenever you're feeling down, just hum that song or play it. Let it be your mantra for the tough days. You always know how to cheer me up, Alex. Thank you. Anytime, Sophie. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. Keep smiling. This vase is made of glass. Wow, Anna, your living room looks completely different. Did you redecorate? Yes, I did, Liam. Thanks for noticing. I wanted to give it a fresh look. I particularly like that face on the table. The design is unique. Oh, thank you. I picked it up from a local artisan. This vase is made of glass. But it has a special texture that makes it shimmer in the light. It looks delicate. I bet you have to be careful with it. Absolutely. I make sure to keep it out of reach of my niece when she visits. Kids and glassware are not the best combination. That's true. It's a beautiful piece, though. It complements the room so well. Time's up. All right, everyone. Final touches on your artwork. I just need a few more minutes, Miss Irene. This shading is trickier than I thought. I understand, Diego, but we have to keep to our schedule. Remember, it's about the process, not perfection. I really wanted to impress you with this piece. It means a lot to me. I'm already impressed by the effort and passion you've put in. Now, brushes down, everyone. Time's up. Thank you, Miss Irene. I'll continue working on it at home. That's the spirit. Remember, every great artist has faced challenges. The key is perseverance. I'll remember that. Thanks for the encouragement. How do you say that in English? Hey, Sophia. I was chatting online with my cousin from the UK, and he used a word I didn't understand. Oh, which word? It was boot. He said he put his groceries in the boot of his car. What's that about? Oh. Boot in British English is what we call trunk in American English. It's where you stall things in the back of a car. That's interesting. So many differences. Whenever I'm confused, I should just ask, how do you say that in English, right? Exactly. And always clarify whether it's British or American English. It'll save you a lot of puzzling moments. Thanks, Sophia. Learning English is full of surprises, isn't it? Absolutely. But that's what makes it fun and fascinating. Always something new to discover. What's your favorite movie? Hey, Henry. I'm thinking of organizing a movie night this weekend. 
Any suggestions? Oh, movie nights are the best. Well, what genre are you thinking? Maybe something classic? A film that never gets old. Hmm, speaking of classics, what's your favorite movie? Oh, that's easy. The Shawshank Redemption. I can watch it over and over. Really? I love that one too. Such an inspiring story. Right, and Morgan Freeman's narration just adds magic to it. Couldn't agree more. But if we're talking classics, have you seen Casablanca? I haven't. Is that your favorite? One of them. It's got love, drama, and iconic lines. You should definitely add it to the list. All right, Casablanca it is. Thanks for the suggestion, Henry. Anytime. Looking forward to movie night. The girl in red is his girlfriend. Wow, this party is packed. Did you invite the entire campus, Zoe? Feels like it, right? But no, just our closest friends and a few extras. Oh, speaking of, who's that guy over there? The one by the DJ booth. Oh, that's Max. He's in my psychology class. Why? No reason, he just looks familiar. And he's got some cool dance moves. Thinking of joining him on the dance floor? Maybe, but who's the girl in red dancing with him? She seems really into the groove. Ah, the girl in red is his girlfriend. Her name's Sarah. They've been together since high school. Oh, they look really cute together. I might just find someone else to dance with then. <laughs> Plenty of fish in the sea, Ava. Let's dance. I feel like blowing something up. Hey, Alex. How's your day going? Not great. Ever have one of those days where everything goes wrong? All the time. What happened? Just everything. I forgot my assignment at home, spilled coffee on my new book, and now my headphones are missing. Oh, no. Sounds rough. Need a break? Yeah, I feel like blowing something up. Maybe in a video game, of course. Ha <laughs> Got a bit worried there. How about we play some Space Invaders? Might help you de-stress. Sounds perfect. Nothing like taking out virtual aliens to make a day better? Exactly. And who knows? Maybe you'll find your headphones while blasting those pixel creatures. Worth a shot. Let's do it. I am so thankful for this opportunity. Hey, Henry. How was your first day at the internship? Leo, it was amazing. I got to meet the entire design team, and they even showed me some upcoming projects. That sounds incredible. And how was Mr. Jackson? At first, he was a bit intimidating. But later, he sat down with me and discussed the history of the company and its vision. Wow, not everyone gets that kind of personal attention on day one. Exactly. I am so thankful for this opportunity. It's going to be a fantastic learning experience. I told you applying to Vision Design Studio would be worth it. They value talent, and it seems they've recognized yours. Thanks, Leo. It was your encouragement that made me take the leap. I just hope I can make the most out of it. With your skills and passion, I have no doubt you will. Here's to new beginnings. Cheers to that. Please just give me one more. Hey, 
Hey, Chris. I saw you had some cookies earlier. Any left? Yeah, I had a few. They're my grandma's recipe. Want one? Oh, yes, please. I've been craving something sweet. Wow, these are delicious. You weren't kidding about that recipe. Glad you liked them. Grandma sure knows her way around the kitchen. Could I possibly have another one? I was actually saving them for my study group later. Please, just give me one more. They're so good. All right, just one more. But then I'll have to visit Grandma for more. Have you spoken to him? Liz, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, hey, Mark. What's up? I heard about the argument you had with Jake yesterday. Everything okay? It was just a minor disagreement. We'll sort it out. Have you spoken to him since? No, not yet. I thought I'd give it some time, let things cool off a bit. That sounds wise. But you know, Jake, he probably feels bad about it. Maybe you should reach out. You might be right. It's just emotions were running high. I didn't want to say something I'd regret later. I get that, but communication helps. Maybe after a good night's sleep, both of you will see things differently. Thanks, Mark. I'll consider reaching out to him later today. I just took a nap. Hey, Anna. Missed your call. What's up? Oh, no worries, Max. I was just checking if you were coming to the cafe with us. Ah, sorry. I couldn't pick up. I just took a nap. Felt so drained after that lecture. I don't blame you. Professor Smith's lectures can be exhausting. But I feel so much better now. Refreshed. Great. So, are you up for some coffee and chit-chat now? Sounds like a plan. Give me 15 minutes to get ready? Perfect. See you at Coffee Beans in a bit. See you there. I don't get you. You've been avoiding everyone since the party. Why, Riley? It's nothing, Jordan. Just needed some me time, that's all. Come on, we've been friends for years. You've never acted like this before. I just, I don't know, feel overwhelmed. You all have your lives sorted out, and I'm still figuring things out. We all have our own pace, but avoiding friends isn't the solution. Maybe I just don't want to be reminded of how behind I am. I don't get you, Riley. We're here to support you, not judge you. It's not you. It's just how I feel. Maybe I need to work on my own insecurities. We all have those moments. Just remember, you're not alone in this. Thanks, Jordan. I'll try to be better. And maybe I'll join you all for dinner tomorrow. The sooner I get to bed, the better. Woo! Today was a roller coaster. First the project deadline, then the flat tire. Oh, Leah, that sounds like quite a day. Did you manage to submit the project on time? Barely. Had to skip lunch. And then the tire incident on the way home? Just my luck. Oh no, I hope you're okay. Did someone help with the tire? Yeah, a kind passerby assisted. But it took time, and now I'm super exhausted. You definitely deserve some rest. Anything I can do to help? Honestly, the sooner I get to bed, the better. I think sleep will fix most of it. I get it. Well, 
If you need anything, just call. And here, have these chocolates. Might sweeten your day a bit. Thanks, Mia. That's sweet of you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Leah. Tomorrow will be better. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.